Hello Pisces, welcome to your October 2nd reading. Um, this could be on any topic. We're not specifying just love. We're not specifying career, just whatever spirit feels that you need to know. So let's go ahead and let's take the cards. We're gonna do a Celtic cross spread. All right, Pisces, October 2nd, 2023. Please note that this is actually a timeless reading. I'm only specifying the date of its recording. Also do check out the groovygypsytarot.com website, the new site. There are personal readings available up there as well as tarot cards and the brand new magazine for October, 2023. All right, Pisces, let's see what we've got. We've got the Hermit, crossed by Temperance. Let's see, can those be seen? No, I gotta move them up a little bit. Okay, we will look at the rest here in a minute. I'll have to shuff, shuffle the cards. So Pisces, we have the Hermit here at the center of the reading. This could indicate that you are becoming very impatient, waiting for some sort of movement in your life. It could be that you're thinking about a Sagittarius that's given you some grief. But this is you in deep thought and reflection in the current energy. So if that's you, you'll know. There could be a situation in which you were once very, very patient and now you're feeling heartbroken over this situation. That perhaps your patience didn't pay off. Perhaps you being patient actually caused you to have to lose out on something. So here we have intense heartbreak surrounding you. This could be a love situation, perhaps a long lost love that perhaps, perhaps you were very patient with this person and you were hoping that they would come forward, but yet we see that there was no movement from this particular person. We do see somebody who loves you deeply here, Pisces. This King of Cups. Somebody that you may have a strong telepathic connection to, because I'm, I'm driven towards the energy showing in both of these. And at one point in time, you and this person were very loving towards each other, whether this is family, friend, or romance. And with the hangman here in your thoughts, You're trying to look at this from different viewpoints and trying to understand why you're sitting in heartbreak, why, why there were roadblocks along the way. I see communication in the near future or somebody coming towards you with this beautiful energy of wanting to connect. The overall energy is that of the Eight of Cups. Definitely you walking away from somebody or somebody walking away from you. You know, the advice that Spirit is giving you is to be strong, allow yourself to be independent and focus on your stability, your financial stability. Focus on the things that will help you to succeed with regards to your finances, with regards to your career. I do see somebody coming forward with communication in the near future. However, it's going to be more of the same that you've been getting from this person. They're going to have a little bit of a wall up. They might let it down just slightly but yet this person is still going to give you the same grief, the same difficulty, the same struggle. 
because it appears that they're in need of healing. I believe you're hoping to get the truth from this person when they communicate with you. The truth of why, why things didn't work out. The truth of what is happening in the current situation between you and this person. It may cause more heartbreak, but it looks like you're going to be strong enough to be able to walk away from this. In Pisces, your outcome, we have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is, is an energy of, of waiting. It's like you're continuing to wait. You're continuing to be patient. But it's like you're looking off into the distance, hoping and wishing for more. Talk to me about the Hermit Cross by the Temperance card, please. Whoa, Temperance fell out again. I think that the, what they're trying to say here is that the angels are watching over you, Pisces. If you believe in angels, if not, you know, your spirit guides, divine beings of some sort are watching over you and are in control of this situation. Although it may not feel that way internally, right? Perhaps you gave things over to them to, to take care of in the past, but you saw no growth. You saw no movement. You may be feeling a, a sense of uh, frustration. Talk to me about the Three of Swords, please. Justice. I feel like this this is a sense where you feel like things are not fair, right? Things are not have not been fair for you. Here you were, you were patient, you were um, holding on to something or someone, and yet you were treated unfairly in some way. It's possible they could be married. The magician with the king of cups it's very possible that this person did not feel uh, ready to come towards you pisces or did not feel that they would be right for you that they would cause you pain instead here they caused you pain but it's almost like they're trying to prevent themselves from causing you more pain Ooh, look at that oh my goodness so many repeating cards somebody really broke your heart pretty heavily but Pisces, you know, we have a woman here trying to gain a sense of, okay, you know, give me a new perspective on it. And we have a man here who's crying. I feel that whomever, whomever you were unable to make things work with, they're hurting just as much as you are right now. They are hurting just as much as you are. Three of Wands, Page of Pentacles. It's, I don't. I think what you're going to hear is don't wait for me anymore, right? It's almost like um, with the Page of Pentacles, they're so heartbroken by something they've done or an action that they've taken or a decision that they made. It's like they're saying, don't, don't wait for me any longer. Adding to the heartbreak. Let's look at that Ten of Swords. They don't know how to fix it. They're really in a, in a mental struggle over this. We've got the emperor. It could be a twin flame. A twin flame that's made a decision that they're not happy with. In order to not hurt you, they end up hurting you. King of Swords and the Sun. They're not as happy as they appear to be. The Sun in reverse tells me they're not happy. The Three of Swords tells me that they're uh, they're very they're very hurt by a decision that they made for themselves. 
they, they feel the loss of you, Pisces. Perhaps they didn't have any other choice. Ten of Cups in the reverse. Clarify that Ten of Cups in the reverse. King of Wands in the reverse. If they're with a Leo, uh, if they're with a Leo or a Cancer, this is saying they're not in love with the Leo or the Cancer. Maybe that's why you'll be waiting. It's like you know that <clears throat> you know that their love is towards you. Yeah, Spirit is saying, "Be strong." Hold on to the memories and allow yourself to feel. Pisces, it looks like whomever this is, they are brokenhearted by a decision they made. And even though they're asking you not to wait for them, uh, possibly because they may have had to have made this decision, um, they're not in love with somebody else, according to this, or they love you more, one of the two. Um, Yet, what I'm seeing is I'm seeing their inability to come towards you. Um, let's take a look at that a little bit more. I am not going to extend this uh, today, Pisces. I just don't have the time with getting the monthlies out. Um, but if this were, if this were um, one of those times where I was not working on the monthlies, I would definitely be extending this because this is intense. All right, let's look at this outcome. So we know wherever they're at, if there's a Leo or a Cancer, um, then, you know, the, the love is not with the Leo or the Cancer. That's very likely why you'd wait. Talk to me about this outcome, please. Look at that, the devil, the eight of swords, and the star, okay. I feel that with the devil, I, I do feel that this person was, um, kind of trapped in a situation of their own making, because here they are, they're trapped of their own making here, right? So trapped in a situation of their own making, um, but yet they're still holding on to hope with you in some way, with the star here. It's like you, you're their shining light, you're their hope. Four of Wands. Uh, they may be married with the Four of Wands. They may see you as marriage material. I don't know. I feel more like this may be the situation, right? That would cause an intense amount of pain and an intense amount of struggle. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm losing my voice, Pisces. Page of Swords. Five of Wands, Five of Cups. Yeah, this person... Okay, so if this person... If this person is married or in another relationship... Uh, with the Page of Swords here, along with the Five of Wands, these two cards together show me uh, somebody insecure and kind of uh, watching over everything that they do, right? Some uh, arguments here about that, that sense of spying. Um, with the Five of Cups, it's almost like this person feels like their hands are tied. Um, it could be that, you know, they don't see a way out of the situation. Like they feel very constrained, very constrained here. Um, Pisces, let me take a romance angels for you and this person. I'm 
sorry that I can't extend this one. This one, this one would be a good one to kind of look into deeper. I just don't have the time today. Sorry, Pisces. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Past life relationship. Well, past life relationship would definitely indicate some sort of karmic tie here, you know. Here and now. Okay, so this is not the right time. It's not the right time for you and this person to move forward. A leg up. And there's the fates, which is that star card again. A leg up tells me you need to reach out to your soul tribe, get some support around you. And the fates, along with past life relationship and them having the star, which looks very much the same. Um, I feel like this is not over yet. But yet, you know, spirit's not telling you to sit there and wait. They're telling you to focus on you, focus on your success, focus on your stability, focus on your happiness during this time. All right, that's what I've got for you, Pisces. Love and light to you, my darlings. Hugs and kisses from Ocean. Be sure to check out GroovyGypsyTarot.com for personal readings, um, tarot decks, and the magazine. Brand new magazine. It's really exciting. Check it out. Until later, ta-ta for now.